First quarter results from Arista Networks. Arista Networks? It was always Arista Records when I was coming up, so it's Arista Networks to me. Me? I'm Corey Johnson, Chief Market Strategist from the Futurum Group. Arista Networks, such an important company here uh, because they're really on the cutting edge of networking software. Um, and it's really kind of the second coming of Cisco. And I'll talk more about that in a second here. Cisco, of course, is doing just fine on its own, mind you. But we'll talk about both here. Uh, Wall Street likes a beat or a miss, and I guess this was a beat. This company is still growing really fast. Revenues of $1.57 billion, growing at a 17% annual clip. Gross margins uh, also dramatically increased from the same time last year. 64.2% gross margins, up nearly 400 basis points from the previous year. And operating margins are also uh, really, really impressive. So that gave them a gap in net income of $638 million. That's up 46% on a year over year basis. Again, compare that to the growth in revenues that was just 17%. So growing the top line fast, growing the bottom line even faster. But let's go beyond those headline numbers. What this company likes to talk a lot about is where they're doing with their competition. They talk about it, they put these things in their earnings reports and their uh, analyst briefings and so on. When they compare themselves to competitors like Cisco, they claim to be taking share in switches. They claim to be taking share in the number of ports and taking share in, in revenues. And so uh, whenever they put these numbers out, whether they're quarterly or annual or what have you, what they're really showing, uh, and you, you've got to look at these people who used to work at Cisco. I mean, this company is thick with former Cisco employees on their board of directors uh, and throughout the company. Certainly the CEO herself, a former Cisco executive who once reported to the CEO of Cisco. When they talk about the share they've taken from Cisco, citing other analyst reports, they're looking it uh, growing every single quarter closer and closer to where Cisco is in terms of dollars of share in the router market and in the uh, software market. Now, when you look at what these guys are doing in terms of revenues, they also gave us guidance for the next year, guidance of 1.635, kind of right in the middle of their, their guidance range. Um, and, and that's showing really substantially slower growth than what we've seen from this business, as well as uh, gross margins improving so yeah, profits will increase. But when the stock uh, uh, traded after those results came out, the market loved these numbers. Stock was up 7% in after hours. And that's after nearly doubling, I say nearly, 99% growth before the print on a year over year basis. I'm gonna call 99% nearly 100, because it is. But look, the CEO was asked, why can't the business grow even faster? With AI uh, in the wings right now, why isn't AI presenting an even faster opportunity for growth with AI networking and all the opportunities that surround that? And what the CEO, uh, Jayshree Ulal, I said, tried to explain was that um, it, it, things are going to get better. The growth rates are going to get better, but maybe not till 2025, because the GPUs, the graphic processing units that have been so hard to come by for her customers, are going to start to become more available, but aren't there yet. And there's all kinds of other things that go into building a data center. Things like getting power supply right, things like getting the cooling right. So just getting GPUs isn't enough. A lot of things have to come into play. And that's why she feels better about 2025 than 2024. Here's exactly the way she put it. I think we could do better next year, but your point is well taken that in order to go from 10,000 of GPUs to, you know, 30, 50, 100,000, a lot of things have to come together. First of all, let's talk about the data center or AI center facility itself. There's a tremendous amount of work and lead time that goes into the power, the cooling, the facilities. And so now when you're talking this kind of production as opposed to proving something in the lab, um, that's, that's a key factor. The second one is the GPU, the number of GPUs, the location of the GPUs, the scale of the GPUs, the locality of these GPUs, and should they go with Blackwell, and should they, you know, build, build with, you know, a, a scale up inside the server or scale out to the network. So the whole center of gravity, what's nice to watch, which is why we're more constructive on the 2025 numbers, is that the GPU lead times have significantly improved, which means more and more of our customers will get more GPUs, which, which in turn means they can build out the scale out network. So what does this all mean? What's our big takeaway? How do we want to think about Arista Networks in the grand scheme of all things related to IT? I've got one number that's going to tell you a whole lot about Arista and the rest of the IT world when the drill down continues. The drill down is brought to you by Futurum Group, where analysts, researchers, advisors, content creators, and marketing experts help business leaders anticipate and understand shifts in their industries and build strategies to leverage disruptive innovation. 
With deep analysis, Futurum Group's extensive industry experience delivers reliable research and data, thought leadership, and actionable advice to help you with your strategy and go-to-market efforts. Futurum Group. First quarter earnings results from Arista Networks, they were good. $1.571 billion in quarterly revenues, up 17% from the previous year, and profits of $638 million in the quarter. That's way above the growth rate of revenues. But uh, the, the guidance suggested things might not be super fast this year before more acceleration in 2025. But here's one number that tells you a whole lot. It's one that these guys like to trot out there. And it's the share of ports. This is not an audited number, but these guys like it. That Arista is capturing compared to Cisco, where a lot of the Arista networks once uh, worked. They say they're finally beating Cisco after years and years of trying to get into more ports in the network, and that bodes well for Arista going forward. All right, thanks for listening to Drill Down Earnings. Check us out on all the socials. Drill Down Earnings, part of 6.5 Media.